Hi, Erica. Are you ready to practice our presentation? Sure, Max. I think I have all the information. I've organized our notes into three main ideas. One, I'll give an overview of the topic. Two, you'll describe the problem of dumping e waste in developing countries. And three, we'll make recommendations for the proper disposal of e waste. Should I begin? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Max and I are going to talk about e waste disposal. E waste refers to electronic devices such as phones, computers, and TVs that people dispose of or throw away. The United States is the world leader in producing e waste. It throws away about 3 million tons each year. Next is China, which produces about 2.3 million tons. Electronic devices contain toxic metals such as lead, cadmium, and mercury. Should we define toxic? Okay. Toxic means poisonous or very dangerous to people's health. Now, many people aren't aware that electronic devices contain gold, silver, and copper. A hundred thousand cell phones contain about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars worth of gold, a hundred thousand dollars worth of copper, And twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of silver. So that's why a lot of developing countries accept e-waste. People can make money breaking up the devices and selling the parts. Sadly, many young children do this work. Some countries have banned dumping e-waste in developing countries, but it still happens. Your turn, Max. Okay. A lot of this e-waste goes to Ghana. A country in West Africa, Ghana imports more than two hundred thousand tons of e-waste. This has caused terrible pollution problems. A Ghanaian researcher named Atiemo Sampson tested the soil near a school, a church, a soccer field, and a market, all located near an e-waste site. He found that toxic metal levels were nearly fifty times higher than in other areas. Some of these toxins get into the soil, and sometimes they enter the water source. When e-waste is burned, toxins pollute the air. Sampson says it's hard to end the e-waste recycling industry because it generates income for so many families. Plus, there is no alternative employment for these people. A group called STEP, which stands for Stop the E-Waste Problem, recommends that the recycling process be changed. The group thinks people should still be able to work at the sites, but in a way that is safe for them and the environment. E-waste recycling plants are a possible solution, but they are expensive to build and a low priority in poor countries. Back to you, Erica. There are other countries besides Ghana, aren't there? Er, yes. China is the largest e-waste recycler. Then India, Nigeria, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, and Liberia. But I think we should focus on one country because we've only got fifteen minutes. Okay. So obviously, we should dispose of our e-waste properly. Never throw old devices in the trash; they'll end up in landfills and pollute the soil, water, and air. There are other options. First, some stores accept old devices for recycling. You can search online for the nearest location. Second, donate your old device to a family member or a charity. Third, turn it into a piece of art. Check out computer part art. A creative new genre. Thanks, everyone.